Hi there, my name is Gillian and I'm the owner of Tickly Paws Pet Care based in Gateshead. This is my lovely assistant Rogue and today we're going to teach you a trick. We're going to teach you how to do a spin. Trick training is really good activity for you and your dog to take part in. It's fun and it creates a nice bond. All you're going to need to do this trick is some nice tasty treats that your dog enjoys and I'll break it down into three simple steps that's easy for everybody to follow. So step one, if you've got a large dog, this exercise is best done standing up. If you've got a smaller dog, then it's probably easier if you kneel down in front of them. So what you want to do is get a bunch of treats in your left hand, have your dog standing in front of you, yeah. take a treat with your right hand, put it in front of your dog's nose, Move your right hand in a circular motion slowly so the dog follows you around, back to your leg, say good and give her the treat. So again, we're going to put the treat right in front of your dog's nose, move your hand in a circular motion around till your dog comes back to your legs, good and give her the treat. So, treat to the nose, slowly movement in the hand in a circular motion, back to the front, good and give her a treat. And that's step one. You want to repeat step one until your dog is comfortably moving around in a circular motion following your hands before you move on to step two. Step two, putting a word to the action. We don't want to be having to lure the dog with their hand forever. We want to be able to say the word spin and for the dog to do the action. To do that, same as before, we need some treats in our left hand. Take one out in our right. Before we present it to the dog, say the word spin, put it in front of the dog's nose, lure the dog around, back to the front, good, and give them the treat. Again, say the word spin, present the treat, lure them around, back to the front, good, give them the treat. Spin, deliver the treat, spin them around, back to the front, good, and reward. This step will take a long time for the dog to be able to recognise the words, so stick with this step over the next few days before moving on to step three. Step three. Your dog is now comfortable following the lure and we've put a word to the action. We now want to remove the food and lure with an empty hand. So we get to the stage where the food reward is only given on completion of the trick. So this time, pretend to take a treat, say the word spin, present your hand, Lure the dog around, back to the front, good, and reward. Again, say the word spin, an empty hand, lure the dog around, back to the front, good, and reward. With repetition, your dog can now do this trick without being lured by the food. And it will only be rewarded on completion of the trick. Over the next few days, practice this trick and you'll get to the stage where you can reduce the hand lure so it's not as exaggerated and you can rely more on the word to get the dog to spin. Dogs are much more visual and it can take a while for them to learn new words. But with patience and practice, the dog will learn to spin on your hand signal and on the word spin. When practicing this trick, there's some common problems that can arise. One of the most common ones is if we hold the treat too high above the dog's nose, the dog will automatically go into a sit. So it's really important that we hold that treat directly in front of the dog's nose. Another common problem is, is that we move too fast. Yeah, so for a dog that's just learning, if her hand movement's too fast, then the dog might not follow it round. So we have to make sure that the hand movement's nice and slow so the dog's comfortable at following your hand. If the dog won't follow the hand at all, it might be worthwhile looking for a different treat that the dog's a bit more motivated by, something that smells really nice or is a little bit more tasty than what you're using already. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you and your dog have really enjoyed learning this trick. As you can see, trick training really does tire your dog out. Please post your videos and pictures below and let's see how many dogs we can get spinning. Tickly Paws Pet Care provides dog training, solo dog walking and pet sitting in the Gateshead area. If you want any more information or you feel that we can help you in any way, please do get in touch. Thanks and take care, Gillian and Rogue.